Well, CMV is the most common virus that most people have never heard of. And I want to change that. I can't change that CMV is a common virus, but I think I can change people's knowledge awareness about it. I have been studying CMV for over 30 years now, and I've been profoundly affected by my patients and their families. So that's why I started CMV, and that's why I'm staying with it. CMV stands for cytomegalovirus. Cyto means cell, megalo means big, virus means poison. So underneath the microscope, CMV is a virus that makes the cells look big or swell. CMV does require, though, very close contact for transmission. It's not airborne. It doesn't stay on surfaces very long. It's transmitted uh, silently through close, intimate contact with body secretions. One of the most critical times to avoid catching CMV is during pregnancy. If you catch CMV during pregnancy, you do run a risk of having the virus be transmitted to your fetus. The virus can severely affect the baby in the womb. There's a broad range right of the types of hand. disease the virus can do. produce, anywhere from involving every organ system it's of the fetus, or it can slightly affect the baby, or it can just damage the brain, or just damage the hearing, or just damage the liver. So I think trying to wrap your head around those variety of manifestations caused by just a single virus is difficult. If you're pregnant, you should be aware that CMV could be anywhere. But we know that the most common place that CMV is is in toddlers. They are a virtual hot zone of CMV. Unaware, adorable toddlers with their less than hygienic daily practices, adorable as they are and as affectionate as they are, they harbor CMV in their saliva and their urine primarily. Pregnant women should be aware that we do have a vaccine for CMV. It's not a traditional shot in the arm vaccine. It's a knowledge vaccine and it's very powerful. It consists of an ounce of CMV awareness and three simple precautions or tips that they can take to reduce their risk. The first tip is do not share food or drink with your young toddler. No more one for mommy, one for you sharing to show your toddler that squash doesn't taste so bad after all. Don't do that while you're pregnant. Save that for after your new baby's born. Don't share any of your drinking water with your toddler. Don't take a drink and then share a drink with your toddler. Use a special cup for your toddler and a special glass for you. The second is avoid kissing them on or around the lips. We do want to kiss our toddlers. They are absolutely adorable. How do we show our affection as their mom? Give them a big hug. Kiss them on top of the head. That will work. Refrain from kissing them on or around their mouth until after your new baby's born. And third, wash your hands very carefully after changing all diapers, including just wet diapers, because that's where CMV is. I want people to be aware of CMV. I don't want to scare them. I don't want to alarm them. I just want them to be aware, to have their eyes open so they can be mindful and thoughtful about what they can do to protect their family and their unborn child. As one pregnant woman told me, when she had a baby born with CMV, she said, why did those who came before me not warn me? I'm so, sorry, I get very emotional because she looks you in the eye and she says, if I'd only known, I would have done something. I would have done those simple precautions, but nobody told me. CMV, it's public enemy number one for me. I'm Dr. Gail Dimler Harrison. CMV ends with me. Know your risk. Protect your family.